Mr. Penine, back with another video inside of the PvP world. I've done three straight videos on this series on my channel so far. So I'm not going to upload another video until Sunday on this PvP world. So you're going to have to wait another few uh, days until the, my next video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've done a bit of off cam work, and like I said last video, I got a bit of food, went outside for sugar cane, found a bit of leather, also found pumpkins and cocoa beans. Um, some of the wheat scrubs, so I'll go get that. And I also made a little room over here, which is a little fishing thing, which doesn't even really work. And I just had a zombie, so I'm gonna have to bear that in mind. Um, hopefully, hopefully there's none near me. I just destroyed a torch. Where did that torch go? I'll go make a, a new one because I'm gonna have to go out anyway. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over here and get the torch, aren't I? Don't know where it could be though. Is the thing. I don't know. Um, right, let me grab the iron and put it in here. Got 61 iron, not too bad. Let me grab quite a bit of this and uh, make a load of torches. Oh, sorry that. Uh, felt like I was going to sneeze then. Right, let's place these back. And this, this zombie is really annoying me. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it as well. Um, the reason I got cocoa beans is because it's better for cookies. So let me go and make these into cookies. And there we go, we've got 40 cookies straight away and we still got like 16 cocoa beans. So the wheat so the arm thing slows and slowing us down. Now um, I'm gonna go down to the mines, but this time with a bit of iron. That's a bit of a scary noise. Um so I'm going to go down into the mine because I've got a load of stuff for this. So I'm going to go down into the mine. Actually, I'm going to go make a new sword first. Just in case because this looks like it's going to break very soon. So I'm going to make a new sword. Now, I did a tiny bit of off-camera work. In the fact that I actually ended up um, doing um, a bit of mining. Uh, not too much, but a little bit of mining so that I um, know what I'm going to be doing in this video. So what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be doing mainly mining in this video. That's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to go down here and check there's no mobs. Uh, probably there's going to be some mobs and a creep is going to blow me up no matter. But we're going to try and hurry down over to my, our mine. Um, so on the way, uh, I'm going to just tell you what I found. So I managed to find... A load of diamonds, basically. I, I just found a load of diamonds. Um, it took forever, but I managed to find loads of diamonds. Like, I mean loads of diamonds. Um, well, for the PvP, at least. And Oh, that's probably why it's blocked off. Um, actually, let me grab these and do this. That way I save torches... Um, and I just waste like two bits of cobblestone per torch. Um, right, don't want to go there? No, I don't really want to go there. Um, no, I'm just blocking all these holes off so there's less chance of mobs spawning. Worst cave in the world, no one's even going to use it. Um, carry on going. Right, uh, we should be getting there very sh uh, soon, or hopefully at least. The only thing that could really spawn those spiders, but still, this is it. This is it. So I'm going to block that off for now, uh, and I'm going to go down here. So, I'm going to mine the diamonds, because I found quite a few, I found two patches of diamonds, but they were each quite big patches anyway, um, which is good. Um... So let's mine these, and I got six diamonds from that, which is really, really good. So let's carry on going down, and we should find the other patch, which is just around here. So I didn't do much mining at all, and I found two patches of la two patches of diamonds, which were pretty large. I got, um, I thought, I, I counted it before the video, and I got um, 11, so I don't know why I got 10 of them. Um, obviously, now I did get it. So let's um, go here and do this. And we're going to put these in here because this is going to be a temporary mining chest. So when we're down here, we can just throw 
all our stuff like cobble down here just to save some time. So I just realized that um, mate MSD and Ether the Beast is going to be joining us in this video. So Ether the Beast now is playing. Um, no one's died in this video so far, which is good for people. As long as I don't die and other people die, I'm happy because that means that other people suffer and they have more chance of getting out. Um, but yeah, let me just go over here. And I thought I ate that. So I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm going to head over to the. Um, what's it called to the place of placeness where places happen or places where where i get the prizes basically for the hashtags uh so people get a, a shout out and there is four people actually which means four turns on the box so once i get into my base i'm going to turn invisible and go flying that way if um one of the people wants to see me um they're not going to think i'm cheating or anything um they're just going to see absolutely nothing because I am um, that awesome. Right now we're back in the base, and I might as well whilst I'm here doing. Oh, I left the diamonds in the chest. I'm gonna have to make hope that no one steals them and go back there very soon and take them. So I'm gonna do that. But first, let me uh, go over there. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're gonna do it in order. So first of all, a shout out to Joe Stan. He said hashtag Chocho two and then made a load of spaces down on this comment and then like eight spaces down he puts um is bad so thank you very much but here we go you got me bedrock awesome that is gonna be very good when i find someone's base because i'm controlling them very well so now let's see so the lady squid thank you very much for hashtagging let's see what you got me you got me a chain chest plate, which is not as good, but it's chain still. So thank you very much, Lady Squid, for that. And now Roman Gilbert for the Bla <gasps> Brewing Stand. Yes, I can make potions. Except I don't have a nether walk because I don't have a nether portal. So yeah, but thanks very much, Roman Gilbert. And now the last person is Popcorn HJ76. Thank you for hashtag. You got me the lava bucket that's okay that's okay i can go and troll somebody there or maybe kill so now i'm gonna quickly head back to base guys i just got the diamonds back from the mine quickly and i decided instead of asking you to get me what to get i'm gonna do it myself and make diamond leggings and boots because that means i only need a chest plate which is eight more diamonds so that's what i'm gonna hunt for now so i'm gonna put the all the stuff that you guys gave me in a secret chest um, all of it and then I will be back just after so that I can go mining for a little bit more of the video okay let's go back down into the mine and um, we'll carry on our mining journey so I'm getting used to where my mine is now um, it's not too far you just go around here and down here it's not that difficult anymore I've, I've found it quite easy now so it's very, 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 very easy. No, because I hacked. Because I hacked. Um, I did know. So, um, round here. And it should be a left very soon. So I'm going to quickly block this off so no mobs go that way. Which is why I blocked off earlier, I don't think I mentioned. Um, so I'm going to do that. Now there's nothing in that chest over there because I took the diamonds out because I can.
probably do a little bit of strip mining. I actually don't want to do too much uh, mining on level 12 because a lot of people go mining on level 12. Um, so if I go mining on level 12 too much, then people might fight, um, come across my base um, and buy my mine, sorry, and then they might go up to my base. Uh, this only being a temporary base, it might not be that much of a worry. Um, but when I go to my actual base, I'm going to mine on a blank bedrock level, which is level 4. So I'm going to do that. Oh, diamonds! Yay, diamonds! Okay. That's good. I found diamonds. How many? This is actually a fairly big patch. And where's the rest? I have, like... I might just, like, five then. Where are they all? Hello? Diamonds. Diamonds? What? I could have sworn there was more. Now I can go back to base. Let's go. And then in my next episode, um, in between videos, I'm going to be mining for more diamonds once I find another a patch of diamonds. Um, well, at least once I find at least four diamonds. And that is going to be me done for diamond armor. And I've got a diamond sword already. So um, other than spare stuff, which I probably am going to need in, in the future, um, that's pretty much me done for mining for quite a while. Other than the fact I am going to get some di a diamond pickaxe and all that. Uh, later on for when I'm going to um, make my actual base. So what I'm going to do after, which will be my next few episodes, is I'm going to go hunting for a new area for a base. Uh, other than this little area, which um, yeah isn't that good. So I'm going to be moving base in my next episode, so I actually have a proper base. The walls are all going to be surrounded by obsidian, and behind the obsidian are going to be lava. So people are going to have to go through lava to get to me, and then they're also going to have to go mine obsidian, which is pretty difficult. Lava all around my base, and um, obsidian, I'm not sure that people are going to risk that too much. So I will be very happy with that. Uh, let me go grab two cocoa beans, and I can go make more cookies, because they are awesome. 16 more cookies to add, so I got 56 cookies. Now let's throw a load of this away. Um, start up on smelt some of this iron, uh, nothing in there. Throw the redstone in, flint, um, this and this. I'm going to quickly get my what I have, put these diamonds in the chest. I'm going to put my diamond and show you how I look. Right, okay, just imagine I got a diamond sword, I forgot that, it's still in my chest. But this is pretty cool. Once I've got a chest plate, my set will be complete. And also, I've got a diamond sword in my chest. Uh, still remember, I uh, will. I do have a bow in my chest, which is pretty good. I shouldn't have destroyed that spawner because that has um, resulted in me having to find a new spawner soon when I need to get all that XP or just making a spawner itself. So. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. In my next video will be up on Sunday and I'm going to be hunting for a brand new base. In between videos I am going to be mining for diamonds. Not too many, only a, f a few. And then I'll mine them on video and then I'll go find a base. And then I'll start setting up and not the walls or lava because I'm going to do around super video. So I thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, bye.